Yang berbahagia, Dr. Rosli bin Yaakob, Senior Deputy Rector, Center of Academic Excellence, Malaysian Institute of Teacher Education. Yang berbahagia, Director of IPDK Ratimnewa. Yang berbahagia, Director of IPDK Tawau. Yang berbahagia, Director of IPDK Ilmu Has. Yang berbahagia, Dr. Razila binti Al Kamaluddin, Coordinating Officer of KPBB IPGM. Assalamualaikum, salam bahagia dan salam mekar di hati. Today, we are going to present our capacity pedagogy, pembelajaran bermakna KPBB showcase for TSLB 3213, speech communication and TSLB 3043, English phonetics and phonology. My name is Husna Wardia Bidisli, and I'm going to present this along with my group mates, Navina Mahalar Anak Perempuan Rabindran, Tin Jia Hao, Sheikh Mohammed Haskil Daniel, Joyce Rebecca, and lastly, Alia Dezila. Overall, we have referred to the process to materialize this KPPP by referring to the models of KPBB introduced by IPDM and KPBB Task Force. For this presentation, the content will be the big idea, course learning outcomes, knowledge and skills, essential questions, strengths, challenges and improvements, the global competencies 6C, the 3E framework and the 3E model. All these have assisted us to its achieving pembelajaran bermakna for these two causes. The big idea, which is say it right, do it right, is constructed through the, merge, through the merging of two causes that were mapped together according to the CLOs. There are TSLB 3213, Speech Communication, and TSLB 3043, English Phonetics and Phonology. This is the continuous assessment for TSLB 3213, Speech Communication. The tasks are assigned a roundtable discussion, oral presentation, which requires students to do a written speech, and present, present them using props. And the lastly is a project work, which is also an oral presentation, but in pairs. The CLOs and objectives can be seen here. This is the continuous assessment for TSLB 3043, English Phonetics and Phonology. The tasks are report writing, quiz as well as pronunciation and transcription tests. The CLOs and objectives are also displayed too. The two CLOs selected from these two causes are for TSLB 3213 speech communication is CLO5, which is to produce a video recorded speech using effective communication skill in pairs. Whereas for TSLB 3043, English Phonetics and Phonology, is CLO3, which is to analyze the structure of syllables, patterns of stress and intonation, and features of connected speech in the English language using standard terminology. The objectives for these two causes are to produce a speech and the same speech is to be transcribed and analyzed in a report. And the big idea, say it right, do it right, is emphasized on both tasks. The assessment for TSLB 3213, speech communication, and TSLB 3043, English phonetics and phonology, are divided into two, which are final exam, 40%, and continuous assessment, 60%. The continuous assessments that are focused according to the selected CLOs for both causes are for TSLB 3213, speech communication, is to produce a 10-minute video of recorded speech, and for TSLB 3043, English phonetics and phonology, is to do a report based on the recording. 
As for the knowledge and skills, the knowledge that we can gain from TSLB 3213, speech communication, are public speaking techniques, how to write and deliver persuasive and informative speech, and also speeches for special occasions. All of these were achieved through lectures and a workshop conducted by us for us and also some other units in IPG Care. As for TSLB 3043, English Phonetics and Phonology, we're able to gain knowledge about the stress patterns, stress timing, stress in simple words, complex word stress, forms of intonation, functions of intonation, and lastly, aspects of connected speech. We learn all of these uh, through the production of the recorded speech and the analysis of the report writing based on the recording. Next, throughout the TSLB 3213 speech communication course, we learn the skills to present a persuasive or informative speech, communicate and cooperate effectively, and also enhance our social skills, teamwork, and responsibility. For TSLB 3043, English Phonetics and Phonology, we learn the skills of analyzing, using knowledge about the English language, and also applying reflective practices, problem-solving skills, and creative and critical thinking. Moving on, the essential question for this KPPB agreed upon in ensuring that we are given guidelines in understanding the big idea, which is say it right, do it right, and are clear on the tasks to be done are firstly, how does accurate pronunciation enhance language skills? Second, how does accurate pronunciation boost speakers' confidence? And thirdly, how does accurate pronunciation enhance effective communication? Next, what are the strengths of KPPB implementation? The strengths of KPPB implementation are to make learning more meaningful that cover real aspects of life. This is portrayed when we actively participate in an English carnival where some of us had successfully managed to win prizes. In addition, it also allows us to interact and receive knowledge from experts. This was achieved when we organized a public speaking workshop, contacted the coach, drafted and sent the invitation letter, handled the Zoom meet, and drafted and designed a certificate. This was done very well under the lecturer's supervision. As for the challenges, lack of resources is one of the challenges we faced. Analyzing the video was a challenge as there were not many examples given from the internet. We could only rely on some examples from our seniors' assignments and from the help of our lecturers. However, we made some improvements to overcome the problems. Firstly, we seek help from various parties by referring to experts such as our lecturers and the public speaking coach, Mr. Dharmalingam. We also collaborated and discussed with our classmates constantly. Moving on, we will talk about the six global competencies, which are character, citizenship, collaborative, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. Firstly, we talk about character. We learn how to learn. We learn how to be organized, we learn how to manage our time, and how to find opportunities to generate the necessary, necessary knowledge and skills. As for citizenship, we are able to solve real world problems that are still unclear. This is achieved when we had learned the appropriate salutations to address others as we contacted the expert, drafted the invitation letter, and prepared a script to welcome him during the workshop. Moving on, we'll talk about collaborative. Collaborative is usually focused on group work where each of us need to play our part to ensure an effective collaboration. There are some tasks in this course assessment that needs us to sit down together. And this is where ideas and expertise of the group members are being utilized in producing a high quality group work assessment. Communication on the other hand, uh, we know the big idea of our assignment, which is say it right, do it right and the best way to present it using the right combination of tools and ways to communicate. We use various tools at our disposal, such as vocal delivery, body language, visual aids, audience engagement, and the method of delivery when delivering a speech. In addition, our voice is the most important tool as a public speaker. Thus, 
One simple way to improve our voice is by learning to breathe fully and deeply from our diaphragm. It can be seen when we implemented it in our speech. With the help of these tools and all these methods, we are better at public speaking. The fifth C is critical thinking. We can develop critical thinking skills like having strong reasoning, analyzing, synthesizing, and evaluating. We have achieved when we use the knowledge we had gained from the workshop. We implemented it when we participated in the public speaking competition organized by IPG Bahasa Antarabangsa for English Language and Literature Carnival in May 2022. Here's the certificate indicating I had won first place. I have critically and successfully implemented the tips when I delivered the winning speech. Lastly, creativity. Creativity helps us to consider and implement new ideas and solutions. We were able to seek ideas and solutions that are original, flexible, and improve the quality of life of others. It was achieved when we created our props for the speech. So we had to creatively think of props to assist our speech for TSLB 3213 speech communication. The 3E framework consists of engagement, enhancement, and extension. As for engagement, we have to spend more time doing tasks together. Through this, we exchanged ideas and opinions with our peers and lecturers. Moreover, we made use of the digital tools to complete the tasks, such as Google Meet, Telegram, WhatsApp, to share notes communicate with each other and further understand the tasks. We also used these applications to share information with our peers and lecturers. Thus, active communication with our friends and lecturers happened as we were doing the tasks. In addition, enhancement is evident when we receive guidance from lecturers, peers, and refer to some suitable YouTube videos. Here are some pictures of us actively discussing online, face-to-face, -face, and some examples of YouTube videos that we had watched as for enhancement. As for extension, we had attended a public speaking workshop via Zoom given by a public speaking coach. The coach is also a member of the Toastmaster Network. Even though the workshop was conducted online, we still met in the classroom to ensure the whole workshop went on smoothly. Most of us also joined the English Language and Literature Elite Carnival 2022. We implemented the knowledge, skills, and valuable tips given and learned from the public speaking workshop in our speech. To further prove our point, I won first place, as mentioned earlier, along with my classmate, Amro, who won second place in the public speaking competition among all the participants. Meanwhile, the three-hour model consists of rigor, relevance, and relationship. Under rigor, as stated earlier, we attended the Say It Right, Do It Right workshop. It gave us a chance to learn to become amazing public speakers. The Say It Right, Do It Right workshop was held on 27th April 2022. The speaker shared tips on how to become an amazing public speaker. It helped us a lot in applying the big idea, say it right, do it right in reality. As a result, many of us volunteered to join the Speak It Easy public speaking competition organized by the English Language and Literature Elite Carnival 2022, a few days later after the workshop. We managed to implement all the knowledge and skills we gained from the workshop during the competition. And eventually, Two of our friends won first and second place in the competition. Next, under relevance, as students, we managed to connect learning to real life situations by transferring learning to relevant contemporary, contemporary context. 
It is visible when one of our friends, Daniel, won a gold medal in the Innovation and Creativity Competition International level. According to Daniel, he used the relevant knowledge and skills learned with the big idea of say it right, do it right. And some of this knowledge are like ways to pronounce words correctly, the correct form of salutation, ways to give a speech, and so on. And this knowledge and skills has boosted his confidence while presenting his products during the competition. Moreover, we are also able to connect learning to do our assignments. For example, task 3 for TSLB 3213 speech communication requires us to deliver a speech with a partner. And since, since this task was given right after we attended the workshop, we gained a lot of knowledge from the workshop and lectures in delivering the speech. All of us managed to apply our learning and knowledge in delivering speech and complete the task successfully. And next, under relationship, we managed to collaborate with our lecturers and learning partners. At the same time, we also managed to interact with people beyond our campus. For example, we managed to work collaboratively with Genius College and book the room and use their facilities, especially the internet line for the Save Right, Do It Right workshop. Additionally, we built the relation, a good relationship with Mr. Damalinga, who is a writer, editor, and public speaking coach, and one of the members of the Toastmaster Network. He was the speaker for the Save Right, Do It Right workshop. And here are some of the photographs that can be used for evidence. Even though the workshop was conducted online, we managed to build a good relationship with Mr. Damalinga. And he was very eager to share with us tips and his past experience. We also built a good relationship with other units as they had joined us during this workshop. There were a total of 75 students who participated in this workshop. Before we end our presentation, I would like to talk about our learning journey throughout these two courses with the, with the implementation of KPPB for this semester. Before we were introduced and exposed to the big idea, say it right, do it right, we encountered several difficulties in speaking English. Even though we were able to speak English relatively fluent, there were several common mistakes or flaws in our daily speeches. For example, we could not pronounce certain words correctly and had no idea on how to do it. As a result, some of us became shy and not confident to speak, especially if we encountered some of the words we couldn't pronounce well. However, after learning both speech communication and English phonetics and phonology, we managed to identify our common mistakes and correct them promptly. Under the big idea, say it right, do it right, we learn to organize events, improve communication skills, and become more confident, become a more confident public speaker and overall better individuals. And now we manage to speak confidently in front of the crowd with accurate pronunciation and with all the essential skills we learn. And most importantly, we have understood that the big idea, say it right, do it right, is crucial for all of us as it can determine how others will perceive us as English teachers in the future. Therefore, after this experience, we must always apply the big idea of say it right, do it right in our daily lives to become better English teachers, effective communicators, as well as role models for the future generations. That's all for our presentation for our KPPB showcase of these two causes, which are TSLB 3213 Speech Communication and TSLB 3043 English Phonetics and Phonology. In fact, we are still in the process of learning and we are very glad that the introduction of KPPB had helped us a lot throughout this learning journey. With that, thank you very much.